Hello everyone, welcome to Rasa's Classroom. Today we solve a interesting viral mass problem, which is integration of square root 10x dx is equal to what? How to solve this interesting mass question, integral of square root 10x dx. So I solve this question easy method. You can solve this question like very worst method, but I solve this question easy method. Let's start. Here is integral of square root 10x so i take square root 10x then i plus square root cot x then i use plus sign here is square root 10x then again i subtract square root cot x and here is dx now at this moment here cot x cot x cancel out but square root 10x plus square root 10x it will be 2 square root 10x but here is 1 square root 10x so at this moment i balance it 1 over 2 2 to cancel out then this line and this line both are same now here 1 over 2 then i separate this case say it will be integral of square root 10x plus integral of square root cot x then here is dx and i take this plus sign and it will be 1 over 2 integral of this square root 10x minus square root cot x then here is dx now at this moment i convert this it will be 1 over 2 an integral sign then it will be who know that square root 10x it will be square root sine x over cos x then here square root cos x plus and this it will be square root cos x over square root sine x then here is dx plus 1 over 2 integral sign then here square root 10x 10x it will be sin x over square root cos x minus square root cos x over square root sin x then here dx now at this moment here 1 over 2 then integral sign and here is least common value is square root sin x cos x then this square root cos x divide this it will be square root sin x square root sin x times square root sin x it will be square root sin x whole square square root is cancelled we are find out it will be sin x then here is same case it will be cos x then here is dx plus 1 over 2 and here again least common value is same square root sin x cos x then this this cancel out we are find out here is sin x minus cos x then here is dx now we know that sin x cos x is equal to what so we know that 2 sin x cos x it will be sin 2x so i take here is 2 here is 2 then again we are balance it so i can say easily it will be square root 2 over 2 integral sin sin x plus cos x then here square root 2 sin x cos x and here is dx I balance it because of that this is square root 2 this is square root 2 cancel we'll find out again previous line but at this moment we are apply 2 sin x cos x it will be sin twice x then here plus 1 over 2 I use same square root 2 then integral sign and it will be square root 2 sin x cos x then here sin x minus cos x so i take it will be sin x minus cos x dx now at this moment you can see the 
2 it will be square root 2 times square root 2 square root 2 square root is cancel we are find out here 1 over square root 2 then integral sine then we are find out it will be sine x plus cos x i solve this question step by step and it will be square root sine twice x then here is dx plus 1 over root 2 because of that 2 divide square root 2 it will be 1 over root 2 and integral sine then here is sine x minus cos x and it is also same case square root sine twice x and here is dx now at this moment i can see really here 1 over square root 2 then sine twice x so at this moment here sine x plus cos x and here is a square root this sine two x i can say that it will be one minus one minus sine twice x because of that i want to apply here is formula my one one it is zero plus minus it is zero but minus minus it will be positive sine twice x so both are same this and this same case and here 1 over square root 2 an integral sine here is sine x minus cos x and this is square root sine twice x it will be square root 1 plus sine twice x then i subtract this one again and here is the x now at this moment you can see it will be 1 over square root 2 integral sine then here is sine x plus cos x then 1 minus 1 minus sine twice x is equal to what how to simplify so we know that 1 it will be sine square x plus cos square x yes but sine twice x it will be 2 sine x cos x so we are applied here is a minus b whole square so it will be sine square x plus cos square x minus 2 sine x cos x it will be sine x minus cos x whole square this and this both are same case and here is dx plus 1 over square root 2 then here integral sine then it will be sine x minus cos x and at this moment here 1 plus sine twice x so 1 plus sine twice x is equal to you can see it will be sine x plus cos x bracket power is 2 minus 1 and here is the x how because of that sine square x plus 2 sine x cos x plus cos square x it will be 1 plus sine twice x and here is negative 1 this negative 1 is this now at this moment here 1 over square root 2 and integral sine here is sine x plus cos x this is 1 minus sine x minus cos x so at this moment let sine x minus cos x it will be t so we are let this is equal to t so derivative of sine x it will be cos x and derivative of cos x it will be negative sine x so negative sine and negative sine it will be positive sine x is equal to dt by dx now you can see this expression it will be cos x plus sine x times this dx is equal to dt so at this moment if i simplify this expression so you can see really here sine x plus cos x dx sine x plus cos x dx it will be dt so i take this dt here 1 minus sine x minus cos x well that it will be t so it will be t square so we are find out and here is square root and this is a square root so we are find out here is dt over 1 minus t square 
and plus so i take this again here is sin x plus cos x whole square so let again let sin x plus cos x it will be u so we will let this is equal to u so cos sin x if i derivative of sin x it will be cos x then it will be negative sin x derivative of sin x it will be negative cos x it will be negative sin x and it will be du by dx now here i take here is negative sin is common so if i take negative sin is common so it will be sin x and this is negative uh, cos x and dx is equal to du so this is equal to du or this is equal to if i move this negative sign here so minus du so you can say easily here i take this negative sign here this negative sign i take here that it will be 1 over square root 2 and this is integral sine sin x minus cos x sin x minus cos x dx is equal to du so i take here is du over i take this is equal to u so square root u square minus one u square minus one now i apply here is the mass formula one over square root two the integral of 1 over square root 1 minus x square dx it will be sin inverse x so you can see it will be sin inverse t here is t and minus and this, this is 1 over square root 2 an integral of du square root u square minus 1 it will be ln or log u plus square root u square minus 1 plus c we'll find out this here now 1 over square root 2 sin inverse t t is equal to what so t is equal to first of all we'll add t is equal to sin x minus cos x so i put this value here it will be sin x minus cos x minus then it will be 1 over square root 2 and this is ln then u u is equal to what u it will be sin x plus cos x so i take this sin x plus cos x then plus square root u square i mean sin x plus cos x whole square then minus one then plus c this is our final answer in this viral integral mass question this is the answer so if you evaluate this expression so you can see that it will be 1 over square root 2 sin inverse sin x minus cos x minus 1 over square root 2 ln sin x plus cos x plus square root you can say here it will be 1 plus sine twice x 1 1 cancel it will be sine twice x plus c this is our final answer in this integral math question thank you all if you enjoy this maths problem please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care